For my project, I get to photograph a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright architecture, but I've also been taking the time to photograph a few unique furniture pieces from Frank Lloyd Wright on my travels. And more importantly, I've been sitting in them for at least 10 minutes. Why would I do that? Because I get asked all the time about Wright's furniture, and whether it's comfortable or not. So now I have scientifically-ish tested a few of them and can answer that question. In 1949, for the garden room at Taliesin West, Wright designed the Taliesin One armchair, also known as the origami chair because of the way it recalls this Japanese art. To ensure the production process is as streamlined as possible, the entire armchair could be fabricated from a single sheet of four by eight foot laminated plywood. In the photo here, the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation reupholstered them using the color palette Wright had in the room in the 1950s. Now to the main event. I've been sitting in these chairs for over 10 years, so I do feel qualified to answer this. The trick to sitting in this one is you have to sit all the way back. That way your arms lay ever so gently on the slanted armrests. And also, the front of the seat is pointed, so your feet can rest on either side and getting up is easier as you can scoot forward more to get your feet underneath you. And this design is less likely to tip forward due to the added anti-tipping feet. And Wright added metal caps to these feet as well. And just how comfortable is it? Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving it a solid 9 out of 10. Losing a point because it is very heavy and not easy to move, which doesn't really play into how comfortable it is, but it's important nonetheless. Have you sat in this origami chair? What would you rank it?